Hello and welcome to the video lecture for Module 6 of Radio Studio Operations. This is going to be more of a demonstration and answer session than a lecture, so hooray! First we're going to review the proper way to open up a mic. Now this is a very basic broadcast board and you don't need to see a lot of detail because it is really more for demonstration in this lecture. But we start off with the mic pot over here or the mic module and this is the on button, on and off button. Now this toggles on and off, one way on, one way off, no problem. A lot of boards have a separate on, off button though. So you can come across both kinds and I should probably get this back into the broadcast console that it's on. Proper way to open a mic is actually pretty simple. You turn it on, then you pot it up, talk, then you pot it down and turn it off. On, up, down, off. On, up, talk, down, off. There's a reason we do that. That sequence is better than doing this. And if you're thinking about it, it should be obvious why. Listen closely. It's better than doing this. One more time. Here's a bigger hint. In other words, does this switch make a sound? Of course it does. If your pot is all the way up, giving you a very decent level, and then you hit click, that click will go through the microphone and go on the air. The audience will hear it. They will also hear a little bit of the click if you bring it back the other way. So that's why you don't pot it up until after you've turned it on. Like that. It's not uncommon to see DJs about ready to go on the air with that module on, but down and their finger on it. Keeps it down until it's time to talk, and then blah, 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 and that's the way it goes. So that's the proper way to turn on the mic, and that's why that procedure is better than this unthinking procedure. That's one of the techniques of a pro. So, the broadcast console. It's not a mixing board, really, because it has two different systems. Uh, the first one is the Q system. Now, the Q system simply means if there's a signal on one of these pots, I can hear it without sending it over the air. I know there's a signal on this one. Let's see if we can't hear it. We hit the Q button and there it is. We don't hit the Q button, it's not there. I know it's there, but it's not going over, over the air because the meters aren't up. However, if I do this, there it is. Now I know it's going over the air. We can see the signal going to the program bus, which is going to the transmitter, and I can hear it here on some bigger monitor speakers. Q button just sends it to a small little speaker in the back. The microphone modules generally don't have a Q switch, because all that would happen is that you would run the mic through that little speaker in the back, and that's not really what we're looking for now, is it? When it comes to being on the air, though, we do have a muting system, the second system that keeps this from being classified as a mixer and more as a broadcast console or a broadcast board. Let's suppose we have something going on the air and we want to talk on the air. I click the button and it essentially shuts off the monitor speakers. Now it's still going through the headphones. You can still hear it through the headphones pretty easily. It's just that you can't hear it the monitor speakers and clearly the music is still going over the air because you can see the meter so in a situation like this we might do a talk over the intro or something like that blah 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 bring it back down and then turn it off so the speakers get cut out every time a mic's open and it can be any of the mics usually the mics are all set up to be muting the monitor speakers when they're turned on now now why is that why is it preferable we do that because if you have a microphone that's turned on and it's near these big speakers, what's going to happen? Ever been to a concert and things aren't going quite right near these high-pitched squeals or low rumbles? That's called feedback, and that's what's happening. So, over the decades of radio broadcasting, they realized that every time they opened up the mic, they'd have to turn down the monitors, and that just was no good. It was a waste of time, so why not create some circuitry that as soon as you turn on the mic, it turns off the speaker so you don't have to worry about turning it off. That's why it's done. So now the procedure 
for opening the mic is changed a little bit because the headphones are now in play. All right? So the procedure now is put on the headphones. Mic on, pot up, talk. When you're finished talking, pot down, turn off, take off your headphones. Once again, headphones on, mic on, pot up, do your thing, pot down, turn the mic off, take the headphones off. So in our little scenario, that rookie mistake where they have the headphones on, mic on, talk, they get really excited about what they're doing, and then they just take off their headphones and wonder why it's so quiet. Well, it's so quiet because the muting system engaged, and in this case, you even have the pot up, so everything you're saying is going over the air. So that's the big working mistake that hopefully you will never ever make, because now you know. And our final question in Module 6 reading, you're looking through the window, through the studio door, and you're looking for something specific. Did you figure out what it is? What exactly are you looking for? Well, you're actually looking at the DJ, and you're looking to see if the DJ has their headphones on. If the DJ has their headphones on, what are they about to do? And the answer is, open up the mic. So you look through the window, they have the headphones on, they're about ready to talk on the air. Now in a busy station where people are walking in and out of the studio all, all the time with legitimate business and the DJ is, you know, getting ready to talk, it's not uncommon in a single day, at least happens once, that someone opens that door and walks in right as the DJ opened up the mic to start speaking. And by the way, you're violating a lot of station rules there. You're in the studio while the DJ's on the air. You disturbed the DJ right as he was about to talk. Those are, those are pretty decent rules that you're breaking there. So you look through the window to make sure you don't accidentally do that. And like I said, a lot of broadcasters don't get taught that anymore, but they're wearing the headphones, stand back in a couple of seconds, they're going to be on the air. If they aren't wearing headphones, politely walk on in. Now you know, and you can pass it along to future generations of radio broadcasters. Thanks for being with me here for Module 6.